Hey guys, welcome to the uh, Daily Devotion. Um, we've just finished a series on what God would perhaps want us to think about um, as we go through the pandemic. And so we're now coming into another mini series of daily devotions. And this time I want to open it up. I don't want you to hear from me. You hear from me every day and that's probably more than enough. Um, but I want to hear from you because I genuinely believe in the priesthood of all believers. That is, I believe that everybody can and should encourage one another from the Bible. So what's going to happen is each day a different person from the church family uh, is going to share a verse, say what that verse is and share why that verse is personal to them. Let me tell you a verse that is personal to me, one of my favourite verses and a verse really that is inspiring this series. It's Colossians chapter 3 and verse 16 and if you've been in church long enough you know that that was a verse of the year a few years ago and if you're watching this uh, from Ammonford you'll know it was a verse for the year there a number of years ago as well. It really is one of my favourite verses and Colossians 3.16 says this, Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly as you teach and admonish one another. The first thing I want you to note is this, Paul is commanding them to teach and admonish one another. So it's not just teachers who teach. He's already taught that in Colossians 1 and 2, that teachers should teach and how they should teach. But in Colossians chapter 3, he's saying, yeah, but hold on, you should all teach one another. We need to realise that all Christians have something to share. Even if you don't have the gift of teaching, even if you don't think you have a theological brain, whatever that means, your experience of reading the scripture and God speaking to you is worth sharing. I often find on a Sunday morning that after I've preached a message, someone says something to me on the door and they say, do you know, when you were preaching, I was thinking this, John. And I always think, no, that's brilliant. Why didn't I think of that? That would have been superb. And that's what I'm hoping is going to happen over the next few weeks, is each day as someone shares a verse, you're going to watch this and go, man, that is brilliant. You might not think that's going to happen, but it really is. There's something powerful in believers teaching and admonishing one another. But the thing I also love about it is it kind of tells us what to teach and admonish one another and how to do it. Colossians 3.16 begins like this. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. You see, it's as you see Jesus and as you dwell in the word which shows us Jesus, that's when you teach. You know, the word dwell there is like living somewhere, a dwelling, dwelling somewhere. And uh, one translation or paraphrase of the Bible says this, you know, let Jesus have the run of your home. Let him have the run of your home. And really that's what I'm hoping is happening during this lockdown, is that we are able to spend more time in prayer and in the word, that perhaps as we reassess our lives and priorities, we're giving more over to the Lord. And as we do that, Christ dwells in us richly. And I trust over the next few weeks, as you share your verses, it will be an overflow of a dwelling of Christ by his spirit in your heart. And we will encourage one another as we do it. So, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly as you teach and admonish one another.